Today, uh, we are celebrating across the continent our affiliation to one and the same broad African family. A family of over a billion people sharing before geography, same visions, hope, and destinies. And today, for all of us Africans, this uh, important gathering holds a very particular meaning that reflects on a long-standing and deep-rooted belief in African unity. A belief that the founding fathers of our continental organization fought for decades with an unmatched spirit of fraternity, liberty, and solidarity. And as we are celebrating today, Africa Day, we are indeed celebrating this very same legacy. Let us raise to this heritage by being proud, responsible, strong, and committed Africans. From the Casablanca Conference in 1962 to nowadays, a lot has changed, but now not our core values. Morocco, my country, believes strongly since the very beginning in an ambitious Pan-African project. His Majesty led King Mohammed V, and after His Majesty led King Hassan II, have spared no effort to initiate, strengthen, and elevate this African unity from a dream to a reality. Since then, Morocco has never shifted from this important priority, staying strong in its belief in Africa and in African unity, thanks to the leadership of His Majesty King Mohammed VI. Let us not forget today that we still have a long way to go. Complex security and economic challenges are gaining territory and pose a serious threat to the stability of our continent. They are more and more interconnected, fast evolving, and are hampering our capacities for development of peace, security, and economic development. Africa needs to operate a shift in its global efforts towards achieving a fair and just socio-economic development. Our joint action must always and continually focus on social justice, democracy, human development, and the creation of jobs and work opportunity for our youth. Only then we will be able to reach a level of stability and put together the condition for a more prosperous and audacious continent. Africa requires more than ever peace and growth to sustain the uh, continent's path towards progress. But peace and growth and economic development require us as Africans to unconditionally choose unity of a division and dialogue of a political misconduct or manipulation. The time of fake ideologies has come to an end. The people of Africa need relevant leaderships that put the human dimension at the center of any national or continental policies. Today, the African Union must provide this space that unites ambitions and pools strategies. Its role is crucial to express a continental vision which breaks with past approaches. The EU must be the locomotive of an Africa that moves forward, an Africa that trusts itself and an Africa that evolves. Our countries and our policymakers 
have to endeavor to respond to the different challenges that are currently facing us. It is crucial to level up our responses to issues such as health, debt management, social policies, migration, and security threats. Africa needs to change its software in order to promote successful policies based on good governance and innovation. We need to protect the most vulnerable of us and always provide our people with relevant and lasting tools and solutions. It is this very same ambition that foreshadows EU flagship projects as, for example, the African Free Trade Agreement. In any way, the Kingdom of Morocco will continue to place this core ambition at the heart of its priorities. His Majesty King Mohammed VI leadership has made the emergence of Africa not a mere perspective, but a concrete objective, part of a global strategy, inclusive vision and responsible approach. Let us give up our common commitment with the hope and ambitions we all share. Africa is our house and our future.